trouble starting the engine so I bled the engine because I had to move slips bled it it started fine I ran it over here and then haven't ran it again for a while and then we tried to run it to go sailing multiple times and we've had troubles starting the engine it'll turn over but it's not getting fuel or there's air in the lines or something so after diagnosing our engines fuel issues we determined we needed to order a new fuel filter housing and some brass fittings so while we waited for those in the mail we decided to knock out a couple of basic boat projects. Currently cleaning all the barnacles off of our dinghy. It's like the one you want. It's pretty gross. You it's can like see the, the before and after situation over here. After what? Two months? One month in the water? Uh, I think it's probably a month. Yeah, it's about exactly a month. Well, a month or two weeks. Looking good. What you doing, babe? I'm video editing. Why? It's really gross outside and... It's gross outside. It's not a great day for fun outdoor adventures. So what are we doing? Editing, boat projects. Boat projects, waiting to see if we can sail later. You wanna Maybe. go sailing in this? Not really, but hopefully it goes away. <laughs> we might go sailing. I'm working on the toilet. Yeah, trying to install the old composter. So we can take some number ones and twos. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, can't wait. One of the first things we did was head to the hardware store, pick up a few items so that we could build out a new flooring in the head for the composting toilet. Pretty excited. The composting toilet is in. Things are looking up. I got some tools on the floor and stuff, sorry. But anyways, boom. All the plumbing is gone. It smells amazing in here now. Look at this. We're in. We're in. It's nice and sturdy. Yeah, we're in. I had to build a little platform down here uh, I had to drill this bad boy into the into the cabin sole or, or whatever it's called. But yeah, we're uh, we're in there now. Things are looking good. We can go to the bathroom, and you're not gonna fall off the toilet. I was bleeding the low pressure side, so like your little manual fuel pump on top of your fuel filter, you know, the little bleed nut on your secondary fuel filter, and then the one right, you know, up towards it when it goes to the injectors, that last little nut. I was bleeding those. And it started the other day after I bled that system, but it died again after 10, five minutes, just died again. Do you have a pen somewhere? What are you doing? Making a mattress pad for the beaver so we can actually sleep. <laughs> okay, cool. I guess we're divas. Is this your desk? Is this your office? This is my I don't want to get out of bed office. Oh, the I think I'm spinning with the wrong one. <laughs> Woo! Get 
get that nasty thing out of here. I swear our boat was clean before we started this. Which one goes to which one? Hot on the left, right? Yeah. Do we need tape on this? <laughs> and hey, looky there, a new galley sink. Little victories, you know what I mean? So, I didn't really know what to do. I knew I've heard of people bleeding the high pressure side, which is dealing with the injectors. So today we did that. Where the fuel lines go into the injectors, you loosen up the nuts on all three of them. You hold the decompression levers open and you crank the engine. It's like a two person job and it'll sound like a sewing machine kind of. And then fuel will start to squirt out of those nuts, just like it does on the other parts of the engine. Once that happens and you're not getting air bubbles and stuff, same thing, screw them back in, tighten them, let go of the decompression levers, crank the engine, it started, no issues, ran just like it was before when we first got it. Uh, ran it for about 20 minutes on about 1800 RPMs, no problems. Where are we going? Put the outboard on. Woo! -hoo. And then go get dinner. We're gonna dinghy to dinner. It's been quite a good day. We keep forgetting to video like everything, but we got the outboard on the boat and it fits and hopefully we're gonna get it to work and we're gonna dingy to ding dinner. So we finally got our 9.9 .9 Yamaha on the Whaley. Things are going good, started right up. We're going for our first little dinghy adventure. Here we are, just fucking along. How's the dinghy? Dinghy is Yeah. Sarasota, somewhere way out there, Sarasota Bay. That's Anna Maria Island, Cortez Bridge. We chilling, breaking in the dinghy. Hear the sound of that? It's the engine working. 